the curative properties of the nightly family dinner have been greatly over-exaggerated. I love my daughters, I really do, more than I can coherently describe. I love my dinner hours too, not nearly as much, of course, but I've been on familiar terms with dinner for a lot longer than I've been on familiar terms with my children. Frankly, I don't see much reason to introduce them to each other. It's not that my wife and I don't eat with our daughters sometimes. We do. It's just that it often goes less well than one might like. For one thing, there's the no-fly zone surrounding my younger daughter's spot at the table, an invisible boundary my older daughter dare not cross with touch, gesture or even suspicious glance, lest a round of hostile shelling ensue. There is too the deep world weariness my older daughter has begun bringing with her to meals, one that if she's feeling especially 13-ish, squashes even the most benign conversational gambit with silence, a eye roll, or a look of disdain so piteous it could be sold as a bioterror weapon. Finally, there is the coolness they both show to the artfully prepared meal of, say, lemon sole and capers, an entree that is really just doing its best and, at $18.99 per pounds, is a custom.